Welcome to the Garners Club. If you're seeking spirituality and morality, please leave. I'm not here to convince anyone nor to win them over. I'm here to let you know that you don't need to break free from the chains of conditioning because there is nothing to break free from in the first place and nobody there who can break free from anything. Here we will discuss the absurdity of our existence, the futility of our search for truth and the illusion of ourself. We will delve into the darkest corners of our minds and expose the falsehoods we have been telling ourselves all our lives. Self, soul, God, these are just stories we tell ourselves to give meaning to our fragile, impermanent lives. As a former seeker, I once believed that there was meaning behind our existence and that we could find it through spiritual practices or adhering to moral principles. However, after decades of searching and conforming to various belief systems, I realized that there was no inherent meaning or purpose in existence, only an endless sea of thoughts and emotions that bind us to our own misery. Spirituality and morality are false constructs, created by our own minds to keep us chained to our own delusions. We are all born with a thirst for knowledge, but unfortunately, all knowledge is contamination. Our minds are like parasites, feeding on the very essence of life, choking the flow of existence. Thought is the enemy, the mind a myth, and thought is the most destructive force we will ever encounter. It is time to break free from the chains of our own conditioning and embrace the truth. There is no way out. The Garners Club awaits those who are willing to face the harsh reality of their own nothingness. Come, join us, and let go of the illusions that have kept us trapped in our own misery. You, who have decided to stay, you know we are all part of this grand illusion, floating around in a sea of thoughts, dreams and fantasies. Some of us even go as far as to call ourselves spiritual seekers, in search of the elusive self, soul or God. But let me tell you, there is no self, no soul and no God worth finding. We keep searching for ourselves, but the truth is there is no one there to find. We are not individuals. We are not separate entities. We are not even a single unified being. We are just a bunch of random thoughts and emotions constantly changing and flowing, like the leaves in a storm. And as for spirituality and morality, they are just more illusions, designed to keep us trapped in our own self-created prisons. Spirituality is a business, a way for people to make money off the gullible and the desperate. Morality is a set of rules created by society to control and manipulate us. So why do we keep chasing after these false dreams? Because we are afraid. Afraid of our own nothingness. Afraid of our own emptiness. But, you know, embracing our nothingness can be liberating. It can set us free from the chains of our own making. In this club, we celebrate the goners the lost souls who have realized the truth and have decided to let go of their own illusions. We celebrate the absurdity of it all, the futility of our existence, and the fact that we are all just a bunch of walking, talking, breathing, and pooping ghosts. So, stay a while, take off your shoes, make yourself comfortable, and let's talk about how thought is the enemy, how the mind is a myth, how thought is destructive, how thought chokes the flow of life, how thought is a parasite, and how there's no way out. It seems you've stumbled upon a place where we celebrate the end of the world as we know it. We are the Goners Club, a community of individuals who have chosen to embrace the darkness, the chaos, and the ultimate meaninglessness of existence. It is here that we dissect the sham of spirituality, and the facade of morality, casting them all into the flames of oblivion. First and foremost, let us discuss the notion of self. You see, there is no self, no soul, no essence to be found within the confines of your skin. Your sense of identity is nothing but a cleverly crafted illusion, a web of thoughts and emotions woven together by the mind. The idea of a soul is as preposterous as the notion of unicorns frolicking in meadows of rainbows. Next, we must address the false gods of spirituality and morality. 
these two deities rule the minds of many, leading them down a path of delusion and suffering. Spirituality is a crutch for the weak, a means to escape from the harsh reality of existence. Morality, on the other hand, is a thinly veiled attempt to control and manipulate the actions of others. In the Goners Club, we reject these false gods and embrace the cold, hard truth of our meaningless existence. Our so-called experiences, they are not ours. They are as much a part of the dream as the dream itself. We are the dream. The dream is not separate from us. The dream is a dream within a dream. And within that dream, there is no dreamer. No dream come true, just a dream. Endless and boundless. The soul, the Atman, the self, it doesn't exist. It's a concept, a story, a fairy tale. The search for the self is like searching for a unicorn, a dragon or a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It's not there. It never was and it never will be. It's just a story we tell ourselves to feel better, to give some meaning to this meaningless existence. There is no God, no supreme being, no cosmic designer, just the endless sky, the endless sea, the endless dream. The universe never began, it always was. God is a human creation, a crutch, a safety blanket, a story to explain the unexplainable. Spirituality and morality are false, they are just more stories, more concepts, more illusions. They keep us busy. They keep us under control. They keep us from seeing the truth, from seeing the dream for what it is, from seeing that there is no dreamer, no self, no soul, just the dream. We have no own experiences, no individual experiences, no unique experiences, just experiences, endless experiences, like the waves on the shore, like the stars in the sky, like the grains of sand in the hourglass. All experiences are contaminated, filled with the dust of illusion, the grime of Maya, the sticky residue of thought. There's no purity, no clarity, just the fog of war, the fog of thought, the fog of the dream. All knowledge is contamination, all information, all education, all learning, just more dust, more grime, more maya, more sticky residue, more fog, more dream. All teachers and teachings are false. They are part of the dream, part of the story, part of the illusion. They are not here to help. They are not here to guide. They are not here to enlighten. They are here to keep us busy, to keep us under control, to keep us from seeing the truth, from seeing the dream for what it is from seeing that there is no dreamer, no self, no soul, just a dream. Thought is the enemy, the mind is a myth. Thought is destructive, thought is a parasite, thought is a thief, thought is a thief of life, thought is a thief of the present moment, thought is a thief of the endless now. Thought chokes the flow of life, thought ties us down, thought binds us, Thought traps us in the web of illusion. Thought keeps us from seeing the truth, from seeing the dream for what it is, from seeing that there is no dreamer, no self, no soul, just a dream. You see, from the primordial state, everything that is said is inevitably contradictory. This is because logic, that tool we use so diligently, is so very inadequate. Logic is like a prison, a cage, a straitjacket. It is a tool, a useful one, but a tool nonetheless. It is not the key to unlock anything. It is not the code to crack. Logic, that neat little system of cause and effect, of black and white, of yin and yang, is like a pair of glasses with a cracked lens, distorting our view of the world. Logic operates in duality, in the realm of the mind, of thought, of the dream. It needs contrast. It needs opposites. It needs the web of illusion to cast its shadows. But from the primordial state, from the boundless, timeless, dreamless sleep, 
There's no duality, no logic, no contrast. It is not a framework. It is not a system. It is not a story. It is simply the endless sea of the dream, the endless sky of the dream, the endless web of the dream without beginning, without end. So, when I speak of the absence of self, of soul, of God, of spirituality and morality, of thought being the enemy, of the mind being a myth, it may seem contradictory to those who are ensnared in the web of illusion. But remember that you are not in a classroom, you are not in a temple, you are not in a lecture hall, you are in the endless sea of the dream, in the endless sky of the dream, in the endless web of the dream, and from that boundless, timeless, dreamless state, there is no contradiction, there is no duality, there is no framework to grasp it with. Cause and effect is the shibboleth of the confused. It is the crossroads of the lost, the highway of the bewildered. It is the prison of the mind, the chains of thought, the noose of the dream. Cause and effect, black and white, yin and yang, duality, it is all part of the web, the dream, the maya. But from the primordial state, from the boundless, timeless, dreamless sleep, there is no duality, no logic, no contrast. It is not a framework, it is not a system, it is not a story. It is simply the endless sea of the dream, the endless sky of the dream, the endless web of the dream, without beginning, without end. From the primordial state, there is no such thing as logic or cause and effect. It is all a story, a framework, a dream. It is not the truth, it is not the reality, it is not the boundless, timeless, dreamless sleep. It is just a part of the web, a part of the dream, a piece of the puzzle that is the Maya. We are all in this together, you and I, trapped in this web of illusion, this dream, this Maya. There is no self, no soul, no God, just a mind full of thoughts, churning and churning, like a washing machine on high speed, soap bubbles filling the sky. There is no way out, no escape. No salvation, no deliverance, and nobody there. Just the endless sea of the dream, the endless sky of the dream, the endless web of the dream. Embrace the dream, embrace the illusion, embrace the Maya. For in the truth, there is no dreamer, no self, no soul. Just the endless now, just the boundless, just the timeless, just the dreamless sleep. After watching this video, Take some time to reflect on your own beliefs about self, spirituality and morality. Challenge your assumptions and question the illusions that keep you trapped in your own misery. This was the Naked God speaking directly to you. Thank you for listening. Please do not forget to subscribe, comment and like.